and welcome to your Sunday Sport News with me, Erika Nawinda, here on NBC One. Following are your headlines for tonight. Wanderers defeat Kudus 35-25 to pick up first win. Earl of Cartigan of the Ochinene Supporters Club wins 2,200-meter race at Khobabas. Fistball attracts more and more youngsters. Stay tuned for the stories and more to come. Namibia secured one more silver medal at the African Games in Accra, Ghana, following the men's cricket team's loss to Zimbabwe in the final by eight wickets. Now their overall performance placed them in the 23rd position of the Games. Egypt emerged as the victors with a remarkable 191 medals and were announced during yesterday's closing ceremony as the host for the next edition of the Games in 2027. Moving on, match day two in the Namibia Rugby Union Premier League so Wanderers picking up their first victory of the season with an impressive 35-25 to 25 win over Kudus at the Wanderers Stadium in Ventuk on Saturday. Coastal Boys Kudus made the trip to the capital to face 2022 Premier League champions Wanderers. Luck appeared not to favour them as they sank to Wanderers three tries. The first by Andre van der Berg after a great exchange of passes Tarukuya Shipute followed it up before Nati Janse van Rensberg rounded it off. In the first half, Wanderers converted twice and scored a penalty to defy Kudu's two tries and a penalty. The home side took a nine-point lead at the break with a score reading 22 to 13 points. In the second 40 minutes, Wanderers' early pressure was silenced by a wave of excellent Kudu's play which helped score two tries and a conversion bringing their tally to 12 points for the second half. Conning Jaren and Jacobs Joshua proved to be the difference. But that alone was not enough because the Pioneers back outfit had one more try left in Nandivar to Karwombe's tank, adding to their earlier penalties. The home side collected maximum points with a final score of 35 to 25 points. We caught up with Wanderers coach Dirk Human, and here is how he summed up his team's performance. Oh, it was very tough, you know, Kudus always bring a big battle up front. Uh, and they have a good drive mall and uh, big force carrying the ball, getting, getting momentum inside centre, that's big. In the first half he kept us busy, I think in the sec second half he managed them a bit better. But I think overall a great effort from, from Wanderers side as well. I think uh, the guys showed enormous pa patience um, on defence and, and when they need to capture. I think we, we, we played well. I think there was one or two opportunities gone begging us still. But, uh, but I think overall we dictated the game well. Um, like I said, under pressure um, on the defence side as well, we managed it quite well. And uh, I think at the end of the day, I, I, I think Wanderers was the best team. And, but, but credit to Kudus as well. They came. Kudus captain Cameron Langenhoven stated that after costly mistakes in the first half, he was happy with how his teammates turned the screws in the second. We considered two two simple tries in the beginning. It was tough to come out of that hole. Um, good fighting spirit from the boys. I feel like we, we, we physically dominated the game. But um, we also had a fighting spirit until the end, but it just wasn't enough to pull through. We definitely have to sharpen up, playing, coming up to the high field here. It's always tough, but it's lessons that we learned. So now we know next game, focus up 100%. After suffering defeat against Unam last weekend, Wanderers recorded their first win of the 2024 season, while Kudu's excellent start to the season was halted. Nicholas Feremo, NBC Sport News, Ventuk. Earl of Cartigan of the Ochinene Supporters Club emerged as the winners of the highly anticipated 2,200 meter race at the Epokiro Horse Racing Independence Bash held in the eastern town of Khobabas on Saturday. Saturday's horse racing attracted enthusiasts from all corners of the country. While various races took place throughout the busy day, it was the main race that garnered the most attention. In the eagerly awaited 2,200 meters race, Earl of Cardigan of the Oshinene Supporters Club came victory, leaving competitors in the dust. Blonde Act secured second place with Able Surprise finishing third. Lady Diamond of Aminus Racing also impressed by clinching the top spot in the two thousand meter race of the Nam breed A class. In a celebratory mood, Kashawana Mwarimbihu expressed satisfaction, stating that the club had put in a lot of effort to prepare their horses, and Earl of Cardigan's triumph demonstrated its status as one of the horses to beat this year. 
The message I have to the crowd is to try everything. Let's just try and embrace what we have. Because nowadays we have seen what COVID-19 has done to our people. And now those people who have the horses, let's try to put this effort and work together. That's all I can say to everyone. Sponsored by Standard Bank with a generous 200,000 MBA dollars contribution. So the bank's head of marketing and communications and sponsorship, Margaret Mengo, in attendance. No, first of all, I really want to thank you and the community to be here. We're really proud indeed to be part of this uh, uh, event. It was really a success. Uh, I think the community came out, uh, more than 4,000 people really supporting horse racing. Horse racing is one of those sports codes that's really not uh, seen as one of those mm -hmm. to be supported. But I think with our partnership and our involvement, it's just there to mm -hmm. drive its growth and to really develop it. And to really just uplift it mm -hmm. and bring some uh, more uh, support and more, more prominent platform for it as well. Officiating on behalf of the Omaheke governor was Oshodonjupa governor James Werikwa, who emphasized the importance of directing more resources towards horse racing. Now, first of all, I would, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the governor of Omaheke region for hosting everyone because since we are here, we are under the umbrella of the governor and of course all the organizing members of the, very of, of the, of the event. The Pukira Horse Racing Club um, sponsors by Standard Bank. I mean, it, it's a marvelous event. When you look at it, it's all about showcasing the talents of the various individuals. It's all about bringing diverse Namibians together under one unified umbrella, and that's umbrella of sports. It is about investing in various sports codes, and of course, one of them is horse racing. Event organizer Irishua Murangi echoed Werikwa's sentiments highlighting the competition's continuous growth and the team's dedication to implementing necessary changes to ensure its success. now shift our focus that is up north. Now the Oshana Regional Under-20 football team is gearing up for the NetBank Namibian Newspaper Cup to take place in Khobabas during the Easter weekend. Let's take a look. Various Under-20 football players from a number of clubs in the northern region have been seen hard at work at the Oshakati Independence Stadium in preparation for the upcoming NetBank Newspaper Cup scheduled for next weekend in the Omaheke region. The manager and technical coaches are said to have assembled a solid team that is determined to not only participate but compete for the much-anticipated Newspaper Cup trophy. The Oshana Under-20 regional team comprises of players from the ages of 16 to 19. At the training, NBC Sport caught up with the head coach, Nathaniel Hafuto, who said he is honored to be selected and trusted to lead the team. So as you can see in the background, the boys are hard at work. We basically started way back in a... Uh, February the 16th with our final trials and this time around we were very inclusive because we have uh, a hecke that was not attended uh, previously. We also made sure that uh, um, all the boys around Shana are included in the team. It wasn't easy coming up with the first 11 and uh, much less to talk of the last 20 because we had to, to send our last 20 names to NFA on Friday and uh, cutting the boys from 60 it wasn't an easy task. Meanwhile, at the same venue, NBC also spoke to assistant coach Nabo Shikuni, who is impressed with the fitness and progress of the team thus far. We are so motivated that uh, the, the boys are 70% uh, fit. So uh, I, we hope uh, by, by Sunday, Monday, uh, uh, there will be 100, if not 120, fit. Um, going, going to Omaheke, um, it, it will be a great experience. We are talking about the uh, process of uh, registration process of players. I think it's going smooth and well also because these players are not from the same place. They are from here and there in the region, from all the corners of the region. So they need to register us so that they can be able to play in this cup. So we also talk about accommodation-wise, uh, where the players are going to be accommodated. So we are preparing all these things and transport-wise to get there. Lastly, Herman Paulus, the team manager, assured the players and team that all logistics for traveling and preparation are in place. The Oshana Under-20 regional team is expected to depart on the 28th of March with their first match in the newspaper cup against Kunene. The sport of fistball, which was formally established in 1894, is gaining momentum in Namibia, with players now representing the national team. Now, several teams were seen training at the fistball arena in Olympia, here in the capital. Fistball is a game where the ball is hit with one hand using a fist played mostly on grass, similar to volleyball. 
Two teams, each consisting of five players, compete against each other on a court divided into two halves. The objective of each team is to hit the ball across the net in a way that prevents the opponent from returning it. This sport is one of the lesser-known codes in Namibia, but nevertheless has initiated leagues in Bentuk. So far, there are six teams in the A League and eight teams in the B League, catering to age groups from under 14 to under 18. During inquiries about the game play, coach Michael Barnes explained the rules and dynamics of the game. In first ball, you've got your hand, your fingertips must touch your palm, thumb must be attached, and then you physically hit it with a fist. Defense works with the underarm, setting works with the underarm, and spiking with a fist, either with a hammer or the flat fist. And you're not allowed to touch it with two hands, only one hand and you have a three, uh, three meter service line so not from the back of the field from a three meter service line where you make your service and then the ball is played three times five players on a pitch and you may only touch it once when the ball is in your field so it's defending once setting once spiking Bas mentioned that the fistball youth is rapidly growing and showing enthusiasm to learn more about the sport. Well, it's now time for our social media comments. Team Namibia finished in the 23rd sport with 10 medals at the 13th Africa Games, which concluded in Accra, Ghana last night. Now we asked your thoughts about Namibia's performance at the Games, and here is how some of you reacted. We start with Peter Liali Muya and he says, depends on the number of athletes who represented the country, but let's not blame it on the population. Congratulations to those that made it to the podium. Well, friend Hank Craig says, well done Team Namibia, you done excellent participation. We need to increase funding to our athletes so that they can qualify for these competitions to bring more medals home. Eric Lee Garrop says, very weak, no improvement, waste of funds. And lastly, David Mulilo says, Namibia did very well compared to other nations. The number of athletes from Namibia was very small, but we managed to outperform countries with more athletes. Congratulations, Team Namibia. Well, thank you so much for those comments. Before we go, let's now take a look at tonight's headlines once again. Wanderers defeat Kudus 35-25 to pick up first win. Earl of Cartigan of the Ochinene Supporters Club wins 2,200 meter race at Khobabas. We've come to the end of tonight's news. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that you can like us on Facebook at NBC Sport or tweet us at Sport NBC and be part of the discussion. Also check out our question of the day and share your valuable comments with us. You can also visit our website or YouTube channel for more information. Don't forget to check out NBC Plus by downloading the app on Android or go to nbcplus.na on iOS and take us with you. From me, Erika Nawinda and the rest of the crew here in Studio 2, it's good night. Namibia.